All right, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 99 of my Gateway Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. The purpose of these videos is to document our journey through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience. I like to call the Gateway Experience a scientific, repeatable process of self-discovery, self-exploration, and ultimately self-mastery. It consists of a total of 36 tapes with six waves dividing each set um, of tapes. And we're currently on the second wave and the last tape of that wave. So we are on the 12th tape total. And today was the sixth time doing this tape so if you haven't seen any of our or sixth day if you haven't seen any of our other videos go ahead and check those out that way you can get caught up to speed and see where we started and where we are now so i woke up this morning at 7 30 and it is right now it's 9 01 a.m and uh it is december 1st today is a thursday December 1st, 2022, and uh, it has been a very quick year for me personally. Um, it's been a year of a lot of learning, and obviously I started this experience about uh, almost maybe 110, maybe 120 days ago, so almost four months, and uh, yeah, it's um, I'm so glad that you guys have tuned in and have seen some of the videos and maybe it's been able to help somebody in their journey. That's what it's all about. I just want to give my perspective on what it is that I am encountering as I am doing these, um, these tapes. So I can go, uh, I can, I, I think I'm just going to pick up where, uh, we left off, uh, talking about yesterday in terms of the size of our thinking and you know, it's a combination of doing this, the Monroe Institute, with also other resources that uh, I've been gathering and uh, really talking about how our inner world creates our outer world and how the size of our thinking really develops the size of our life. And uh, I think a lot of people have uh, already understand this, you know, but uh, I want to help those that might be questioning themselves, um, that uh, might not think that it's important um, or that uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So um, I want to start out with our affirmation. You know, our affirmation is that uh, I am more than my physical body. And uh, because I am more than mere physical matter, um, I can influence anything on the physical and non-physical realms. Therefore, I deeply desire to expand, to experience, to know, to understand, to control, to use such greater energies and energy systems as may be beneficial and constructive to me and, the, and to those who are near and close to me. Also, I deeply desire the help and cooperation, the assistance, the understanding of those individuals whose wisdom, development, and experience are equal or greater than my own, and the protection from any influence that might provide me with less than my stated desires. So that is our, our affirmation, and it's all about expanding. And I'm going to basically keep this one a little bit, uh, I'm going to basically kind of wrap everything together here on this one. So it's all about expanding. And what is the simplest way that we have talked about when it comes to expansive, the expansive force. Um, okay, now he's moving the camera as well. So please don't go up there. You could knock the monitor over. Um, yeah, so the expansive force is love and the contracting force of consciousness is fear. It's what keeps everybody um, more or less like thinking that they're separate from other people. And in reality, we're now, we're all together in this uh, reality and we co-create this reality with uh, God, basically. So, um, 
I think this is as big as my thoughts get. So that's why I'm sharing this with you and hopefully it helps you. And um, yeah, so it's all about seeing other people's perspectives. Okay. It's all about uh, understanding where somebody else is coming from. And uh, but at the same time, okay, at the same time, never forgetting about yourself because it's just like the seven habits of highly effective people talks about. It's about uh, going for the win-win, okay? And everything in life, you should always be going for a win-win. Not a win-lose where you win and the other person loses, but really a win-win uh, and not a lose-win either where you lose and the other person wins. It's all about that balance between the two hemispheres, which we've talked about before as well. It's all about the left brain balance and the right brain balance coming together at the center there, at the one eye, in order to create life here on earth, really. It's the uh, analytical uh, with the holistic. And so, I think that's as much as I can say about that. I think that's basically our experience. Um, and the way that I think you don't forget about yourself is bringing it back to uh, the topic of these videos here, the most recent ones, which is the living body map. That is the name of this tape that we are on. And the living body map brings us back to ourselves brings us back to what is it that we need instead of giving all the power away to somebody else, you know, instead of losing and then them winning or being the oppressor, the, the left brain imbalance, which would be win-lose, so where you win and the other person loses, or the right brain imbalance where everybody else wins and you lose because everything is already predetermined and there's no such thing as free will. It's the realizing that there is a bigger plan and, and there is also such thing as free will and by aligning ourselves with the higher level um, realm of effects, what causes things to happen. Um, I think I said that cause and effect. Yeah, the realm of causes, not the realm of effects. It's the realm of causes, what causes things to happen. That's where we have to align ourselves with and understand uh, and really go in that realm, which is the realm that we go to when we go to the outer body uh, and the living body map. By going into that realm and uh, becoming the architect of our creation here on earth, I think that's what it's all about. And uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys, what I've shared with you today and uh, I want to leave it up to you. I want to I want to leave it up to you to share with me what is your creation, what is your architecture, what are you working on? You know, um, I can you know keep going with all of these analogies that I'm making and talking about the left brain as the father and the right brain as the mother, and then the, the third eye is the child in between. Um, you know, so. The, the, the Son, the, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, the Son being, you know, the Holy Spirit being the, the woman, and the Father obviously being the man. So uh, it's all about doing that within ourselves, and that, that is the Temple of Solomon, the Temple of Sun and Moon, Sun being the masculine, Moon being the feminine, Temple of Sol, O, Mon. Sol means Sun, Mon means Moon, and we are the ones in the middle here on earth. So, um, yeah, I can keep going with these uh, connections uh, that I've gathered from other people, but yeah, ultimately it's up to just spreading the message. And uh, yeah, I look forward to finishing this loving body map and finally taking off with the third wave. The first wave was called discovery. The second wave was called threshold. We, were, we are on the threshold of change. And now we are going to move into the next wave, which I don't know what it's called, but I am looking forward to it. So 
If you want to communicate with me, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.